I'm gonna come right out and say it. Today's video is officially gross, but you're expecting that, right? Because you've just clicked on a video with the title, is there poo everywhere? So really it shouldn't come as much of a surprise. And don't worry, I am not gonna disappoint you. Yep, there is poo pretty much everywhere, on every surface you touch, in the air, and all over your body. But how on earth does it get there? And should we be worried? As you probably know, poo, or more formally, feces, is the more or less solid waste that your body no longer needs. It's actually made up of nearly 75% water, but the remaining 25% is a delightful collection of undigested fiber from our food, dead cells from the inside of our intestines, and bacteria. And it's the bacteria that are the real focus here. It's these natural residents in our gut that make our poo brown and smelly, and which have the potential to cause health problems if they find themselves somewhere that they don't belong. Which, it seems, is much more common than we might want to believe. Because while we might think of Pooh's adventures being confined to the short space between our bodies and the U-bend, in reality, it's a lot more pervasive. After a visit to the toilet to go drop the kids off, the act of flushing throws up very fine particles of faecal matter in a process known as atomization. It's the same as how a perfume bottle sprays scent into the air. Only rather than eau de cologne, it's more eau de colon. The result is a faecal mist which spreads out over the bathroom, covering everything there, including the toilet and the sink surfaces, your toothbrush and you. But that's not all. Even the most hygienic of us, and believe me, you will be a hygiene nut by the end of this video, even the most hygienic of us can't rid ourselves of all of the faecal matter when we wipe. As a result, the average gluteal fold, that's butt crack to you and me, has around a quarter of a peanut's worth of feces in it. This is just a tenth of a gram of poo, but it can contain millions of potentially harmful bacteria. When we put our underwear into the washing machine, the bacteria are spread across all of our other clothes. And although it is partly washed away by the water and damaged by the heat and the chemicals, some will inevitably find their way back onto our bodies. Thanks to this, it's fair to say that right now, you are coated by a thin faecal veneer that covers your skin and by extension, everything you touch. Are you feeling a little bit grubby yet? Yeah. Well, one glimmer of a silver lining is that most of the poo particles that you're likely to come into contact with are actually your own. And since you're used to your own bacteria, the harm that they're likely to do is limited. So even though our computer keyboards and our mobile phones and our kitchen sponges and our cutting boards and toothbrushes are literally teeming with faecal bacteria, it's likely to come from you or your close family members. So your body's immune system has already been exposed and has a reasonable chance of fighting off any ill effects. The problem comes when you come into contact with other people's faecal matter. Since we carry it around with us all the time, that veil of faeces can be found wherever lots of people have been. So anywhere that lots of bums have been in contact with, like cinnamons and public transport, park benches, they're all hot spots for faecal matter. And the same goes for stuff that lots of people touch. So ATM machines, shopping trolleys, public toilets, they've got an invisible but very real coating of faecal particles. And one study found that around 95% of paper money was a carrier for poo. Genuine, dirty money, and an excellent recommendation for using contactless. Planes are particularly poosome. On the seats, on the tray tables, in the seat pockets, and most definitely in the loo, hundreds of bacteria are just lying in wait for the unsuspecting traveler. And since the planes fly all over the world, some of those bacteria are likely to be exotic types that our bodies haven't encountered before. Oh, and water is no exception, by the way. I'm, I'm sure it won't come as a surprise to anyone that goes in swimming pools, you know, that hallowed home of the floating turd. They also contain faecal bacteria nearly 60% of the time. And even holy water is blessed with poo. Austrian scientists found that the majority of samples taken from holy springs and fonts contained terrifyingly high levels of faecal matter. Up to 62 million bacteria in every milliliter. That's making it quite definitely undrinkable. Okay, to summarize, everything 
is covered with poo. Some of it's your own, some of it's other people's. Now, your own poo, not too bad. Other people's poo, not ideal. But what's really bad is when other people's exotic fecal particles find their way inside our bodies. Then, bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli and Campylobacter can contribute to gastrointestinal infections and diarrhea that give our bodies and immune systems a real battering. In most cases, these infections tend to work themselves out over a few days of sickness and diarrhea, but occasionally the effects can be vicious and deadly. The leading cause of diarrhea worldwide is the faecal bacterium Shigella, claiming hundreds of thousands of lives every year. To protect yourself from these grimy killers, scientists have recommended a cutting edge technique. Washing your hands after going to the loo, after handling anything particularly gross, and always before eating. It's a simple measure, but it's all that's needed to keep the majority of foreign faeces at bay. Still, there's no escaping the fact that we're all covered in poo. We always have been and we probably always will be. And for the sake of our immune systems at least, we should all embrace our faecal veneer, our excrement exoskeleton. Now, if you weren't totally grossed out by faecal mists and gluteal folds, click here to find out where the majority of our poo ends up. And click here to find out why some people are willingly inserting other people's poo into their bodies. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and yeah, wash your hands. See you next time.